Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where you are in the world. Uh, welcome to this uh, Pilgrim webinar event. Um, we're going to um, cover uh, mastering primary circuit uh, tightening in nuclear applications today. Um, the, the event will take about 30 minutes to 35 minutes of presentation, and then we will allow for about 10, 15 minutes of questions. So please feel free to ask any questions in the chat. If you are watching this on demand, you are still able to enter uh, questions and we will come back to you. So now, without further ado, we'll go into the presentation. So first of all, uh, a small introduction. I'm Damien Lewis. I am the General Manager of Pilgrim International. Today, I'm joined by three colleagues, two presenters, Martin Kerrigan, who is Area Sales Manager for North America, and Dominic Dadamo, who is Sales Manager for uh, South Africa and the Far East region. And also we're joined by our technical and industry expert, Didier Declerc, who will be helping us answer some of the questions today. So thanks for attending the webinar. We hope you'll find it interesting and of some value. Our intention is to highlight that you are not alone when it comes to the issues of accurate tightening. Pilgrim is a well-established company who provided some very neat solutions over many industries. Before we get into that, and for those not familiar from, with Pilgrim, I'd like to just spend a couple of minutes to introduce the company. For your information, we will ask a couple of very simple questions and we would really appreciate your participation. So our vision is to create a world of trouble-free connections. And to us, this means removing uncertainty and time for our clients. What we do is we have five technology areas, bolting, tensioning, drive up systems, services, and hydraulic power. Today, we'll mainly focus on tensioning capabilities. Where we do it, we operate globally on via a network of agents and distributors, and we sell directly to around about 55 countries worldwide. How do we do that? We use our knowledge in creating friction and stretching materials with bolting and tightening systems. We use the oil injection method, and we work up to 2,200 bar with pressure. Our technical knowledge has been built over a 60 year period. And the most important question, why do we do that? Well, our existence and our drive is about helping our customers to remove uncertainty. We do this by reducing unplanned costs and time and helping equipment function better. And hopefully we'll demonstrate that today. We're pleased to share our vision and our mission and the drivers and values with you. It's how we live our life. Our values drive our behavior, whether that is between uh, colleagues, suppliers or clients alike. It is part of our DNA. We want to be the company of choice and we aim to do this via the best designs and quality and the removal of uncertainty for you. We're also ISO 9001 2015 and um, OHSAS 1801 accredited and 14001 accredited as well. We operate in many industries and we can say with confidence that we've got an in-depth knowledge of the marine propulsion systems, power generation, turbine couplings, and today uh, nuclear applications. We've shown that we can transfer our skills into many other industries and we've helped many customers and applications remove uncertainty. Our reference list is vast and spans over six decades. We've been serving our customers and here are some of the recent examples of many industry sectors. I'm sure you'll recognize maybe you're even part of one or two of these companies. So now we'll discuss and highlight some sectors in the nuclear sector, and I'll introduce Dominic, who will take over this section. 
poquito más. So, below, we will discuss some of the most common customer needs, issues and requests that have been highlighted to Pilgrim over the years during our time working within the nuclear sector, and what some of the consequences of failing to minimise the outcome could be, but also how to consider using tensioning as a preferred methodology to plant maintenance over more traditional tightening methods. When we talk about radiation, it's probably the most commonly thought about topic, specifically when we say the word nuclear. However, being fully aware of its presence, working with caution and restriction can aid the operator if the tools they're using are designed in such a way that it reduces the amount of exposure. Pilgrim understand this, noting that a maintenance operative needs to limit their time where radiation levels are present. Our designs take this aspect into consideration. Tightening accuracy is a main deliverable in tensioning generally. With tensioning, it's the most accurate method of tightening, which is why it is selected over other methods such as torquing, either hydraulically or manually. When we're talking about applications, this becomes even more important on critical joints, especially in the nuclear island where leakage could be severe. A good example of this is where sign off by a third party a third party is required before commencing operation. The issue of contamination of the deionized water can be problematic and expensive. The introduction of a tool using hydraulic oil presents a risk of contamination through seepage. Pilgrim have introduced a method of using deionized water to operate our tensioners, removing any risk of cross contamination. Typical concern is the operating time a system or tool can take to complete a job. We understand the impact of maintenance operations missing their deadline. This can be caused by poor design tooling. Also, any unforeseen downtime, you need to be able to rely upon the tooling to work every time. We know that cooperating with OEMs and end users from an early design phase to optimise time frame of how long a job can take is critical but also ensuring this is done to the highest standards in the meantime. We understand that traceability is, a critical, is critical in the running of a nuclear power plant. With, ten with, with tensioning the kinds of applications which are to be tightened are vital to the plant's successful operation. Uh, so if I could just ask you all to kindly just uh, answer the following question. And we'll just give a couple of seconds for that. So I'll just go back a slide. Maybe some people didn't get a chance to uh, answer the question. Another couple of seconds and we'll continue. Okay, so some quite varied answers there. So thank you for your answers there. Uh, we will now look into the aforementioned concerns in more detail. Uh, there are three common ways of reducing exposure to radiation. Shielding is perhaps the most effective way to reduce the amount of exposure. By being behind some form of shield, it reduces a person's exposure the most. Dose rate decreases as the shield thickness increases. When talking about distance, we need to understand that the further away a person is from a source can reduce the amount of exposure that person encounters. The further away a person is, the less exposure, working like standing next to heat. The further away, the less effect it has. When talking about time, 
we need to understand that limiting the amount of time a person is near a radiation source will reduce the amount of exposure they're in contact with a substance. The less time they're in an area, the less exposure. When Pilgrim designs systems for nuclear applications where radiation exposure is a risk, we work closely with our clients to support this topic by designing neat systems that support the reduction of exposure, while also improving general safety for working personnel within the plant. How can we reduce the risk? We're able to incorporate system features such as automation within the tensioning system, remote operation using either wired or wireless systems via a control panel, and finally, quick connect technology patented by Pilgrim, but we'll go into this in more detail in some further slides. We'll now explore in some further detail typical, typical concerns of tightening accuracy. Uh, every critical joint application needs to have a design process or tool for the achieved desired retained load. None more so than in a nuclear power plant. How do you ensure that your joint is 100% secure to specification? By using extensive tightening knowledge and expertise. Using condition monitoring based systems which alleviate human interaction, ensuring consistent repeatability using intelligent systems to mirror each operation. Furthermore, prior to using a tensioning system on an application, calibrating the system and tool to fully ensure the accuracy of the tool is as per its intended design, and also ensuring that the tool will do its job to the highest degree of accuracy. Understanding the environment, environmental impact of nuclear power plants is a huge concern but it's understood when talking with some clients that contamination within the plant can also be a factor often overlooked, especially when tensioning around the nuclear island or any region where contamination could be a large risk. Then the medium which is used to be understood so as not to damage or contaminate surrounding operations due to possible seepage from the equipment. In addition to normal spill hazards created by leaking hydroelectric oil, contamination of the deionized water can lead to mineral buildup, which affects the heat transfer. Another risk is collection of minerals flowing at high velocity, ultimately leading to cracks within the fuel bundles. Most tensioners use hydraulic oil as the medium for which is used to tension the system. To eradicate this, Pilgrim has developed a technology which uses the mineralized water, thought to be the only company who can actually offer this solution. Also understanding if there was a leakage on a planned outage when time is critical, but also unplanned costs can soon accumulate to become a very expensive problem. Understanding from our clients and end users that these costs can sometimes be astronomical. Understanding how time critical the maintenance activity is needed is crucial. One for operator safety to minimize as much risk, but to ensure reduced downtime is avoided. This can be reviewed in four categories when trying to maximize efficiency of operation for a system. Unplanned costs, ensuring you know how a specific task will take the exact time allotted to complete. How much radiation exposure a worker is exposed to in some of the high risk areas of the nuclear power plant for which the tools are designed to be used in. Loss of turnover. If the plant is not back operational, an additional time can be reduced by the tool, which is more beneficial for the plant to focus on other regions of maintenance activity. Furthermore, understanding traceability is critical within nuclear power plants. Having fully or semi-automated systems, which removes any human input error for operation. Meanwhile, having the ability to provide a report online or offline using intelligent systems is advantageous for accuracy of data, which is collected. Also for third parties or plant engineers to see factual evidence of a successful operation that has been completed. This can be, view this can be viewed live, stored, or produced as and when required. Understanding how space restrictions on critical applications can impact maintenance activities is important when selecting the correct tooling, which not only helps the plant, but the operator be safe, 
but also the activity more efficient. Sometimes not being able to visualize what tool can be used is a deciding factor in what equipment is ultimately selected. Pilgrim have tension in technologies which overcome tight space environments specifically designed to alleviate issues where tensioning was previously thought not possible, such as a split tensioner. We alleviate these issues while ensuring the main aspect of worker safety, but also ensuring the criticality joint integrity is achieved in conjunction with other technologies that we offer. Uh, so uh, just a quick break again here. Um, just another quick question. So please, could I ask you to select best option for yourselves uh, and we'll just give a couple of uh, seconds for that. Just a couple more seconds. Let's have a look at the results. Wow. So, uh, didn't expect that answer, but thank you for your feedback. Uh, so now I'm just going to hand you over to uh, Martin Kerrigan, and he's going to take you through some of the further uh, stages within this presentation. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dominic. My name's Martin, and I'm going to take you through a few of the solutions that we've come up with. Uh, the first one being the Quick Connect Tensioner. The Quick Connect solution is a patented Pilgrim product. It ensures a remote stub thread engagement and therefore reduces the time this operation takes. On heavy tensioners, the operation is made with pneumatic supply so that the operator who's activated the control system this enables the quickest possible time taken to both engage and remove the tensioner. At this stage, there are, hopefully is a video playing showing this. The quick connect is going to catch the thread of the stud using a three jaw system. When the jaws are assembled, push down they get closer to each other and align perfectly with the thread, allowing the stud's tension. Jaws separate and disengage from the thread, allowing the tension to be removed quickly. You can see in the video contraction and the opening using the pneumatic system to allow the thread to engage prior to the tension. We have this technology also on small attentioners where remote control is not mandatory or necessary. The quick connect is operated by hand using a simple push and pull to engage and disengage the thread. It provides time saving on multiple stud applications. It reduces the time the operator takes to screw down and remove each tensioner one after the other, reducing both time taken and op operator fatigue. I certainly know which one I'd rather be giving away that. As part of the product portfolio of products that we have, we also supply handling systems that ease the operation in restricted areas. They support complex movements and heavy load and ensure safety handling for the operator. Here on the left is an illustration of one of our solutions for a steam generator manway cover. The system enables the positioning of the cover in a safer and controlled manner using the manipulator, which is pictured in the center. The operation can also be practiced away from the application using the test stand, also shown on the right hand side. This not only gives all operators confidence and knowledge of their task ahead of time, it also allows them to hone their skills, resulting in a faster, safer installation, further reducing the risk of any radiation exposure.
At the end of the tightening, it is recommended to push back the piston into the cylinder. This avoids seal damage, leakage, and overstroking of the piston. With the auto piston return, the return is automated thanks to springs in the cylinder, forcing the oil back to the pump, so that all tensions are ready to use again straight away and reduces operator time and energy when performing the task. This in conjunction with the quick connect system can reduce the time needed drastically, especially if there are many tensioners or multiple passes needed to gain full retain loads. <laughs> when dealing with tightening under radiation exposure and access constraints, another requirement is the nut turning down operation because it needs to be fast to reduce time exposure and it needs to be controlled remotely. Pilgrim has designed an automatic and controlled system that can support this. With a gear arrangement and an electronic motor, the system offers a fully controlled and more accurate type. This system operates the control rod drive mechanism used as a main tool. This clever system not only has multiple tensioner rings holding the tensioners for each stud, ensuring a homogeneous tightening is achieved, where each fastener has exactly the same load applied simultaneously. It also holds the nut used to retain the load upon tensioning. The ring is lowered into position remotely, and when the nut hits the top of the thread, a lever arm holding the nut is, reduced, is released using pneumatics. A gear system kicks in, winding the nut down until it's fully engaged. The quick connection tensioner is then engaged, and the loading can commence. Once the desired applied load is reached, the gears again will wind down the nut further and the pressure is released to gain the retain load. The unit is then removed. To remove the lid, it's the same actions in reverse. All the lever arms also enable the removal of the nuts too. All automated and remotely performed for an operator to near the application. For future reference for any future reference and any sign off using the automated pump and screen system, which we also supply, and I'll explain in one of the next few slides. The same system can actually be used on a single tensioner where accessibility problems occur, and it can be accessed from above. In this case, the gear docking system gives the operator an accessible way to screw from the top, where side access may not be possible. This is done manually, offering another option where other tensioners may not be an option. Our control systems are designed with high-end technologies to meet your needs for automatic status and comprehensive displays. Your operations can be performed remotely using this system. It operates the pump to apply pressure to tensioners, and the display screen can show elongation and retain the elongation of each stud, ensuring the operator can see exactly what's happening and give confidence that each stud is tightened correctly and to the required loads. These results again can be recorded for your records and to assist in any third party sign off for completion to a predetermined specification. Having to tight, tighten applications under radiation exposure means to implement solutions that prove efficiency. For elongation measurements is required. Pilgrim has developed a Bluetooth device that sends its measurements to a tablet far from the application. Each stud has its own measuring device connected to the tension signal is not subject to interference between the emitter and the receptor. Again, this reduces exposure and allows the operator to be in a safer area while performing the task, whilst also ensuring each stud has the required load. The tightening accuracy and traceability are both mandatory requirements of the nuclear customers, since they provide with reliable data about the tightening. Our control system displays and records everything we need to know to prove that tightening is performed as expected. With these applications, there is no place for uncertainty. Pressure, elongation, and stud numbers are all recorded and accessible at any As part of our scope of supply, we also offer test stands at a scale of one to one. 
specifications as the actual application. It will have the same material, same parts, ensuring the operator knows exactly what to expect when performing the task in real time. However, we integrate additional sensors like load sensors pictured on the left. If you can see the small wires, these are actually strain gauges, which makes the test stand the perfect tool to calibrate your tightening system. This ensures that all tools are working as planned and all measurements are accurate prior to live application. The operator may Again, to ensure the quickest time possible and no learning on the job. Let me just make sure. Ah, a little lag, but uh, we'll get back to that one. There we go. I'm back. If necessary for critical applications to remove the risk of contamination, we can use water as the medium for pressurization. Pilgrim has developed tensioners made of stainless steel and special seals that can handle high pressure water, as well as a pump unit that can use demineralized water as its medium. This can be used where cross contamination of any oil seepage would be problematic and time consuming. <clears throat> to, to ensure homogeneous tightening, we suggest using one tension per stud in the form of a tightening ring. The same power unit supplies the complete ring, ensuring the same pressure levels in all tension. This can dramatically reduce the time needed to create a fully tightened unit. It also ensures each stud tightens simultaneously with the exact same force. This can negate the need for multiple passes to achieve full load, again reducing time needed, an operator fatigue, screwing down each tensioner and moving between suds that other systems may require. So with the inclusion of these innovative Pilgrim design features, your operators can be safer, it can be faster and it can be more accurate and also negate the need for any reworking once the job is done. With Pilgrim, it's right first time, every time. I will now hand you back to Damien it will take you through just a few real life situations we've had and Pilgrim have offered solutions for. Thank you for your time. So thank you, Martin. So I'll go through four reference cases. Uh, Pilgrim is present in most of the critical applications in a new power plant. We've designed and supplied for uh, decades tightening systems that are used by experts on the reactor vessel, steam generators and the primary pumps. For those who know Pilgrim, we're also able, uh, are also well known for our radial fitted bolts and coupling solutions located in the turbine hall. In the following slides, we'll cover four of the cases that are most advanced solutions. So as Martin highlighted earlier, the quick connect tensioning, uh, tensioning design and the benefits of clamping threads rather than screwing down. This new technology allows for remotely operated tensioning and in what was otherwise deemed an impossible possibility when considering more conventional tensioning techniques. And this application that we're talking about is the control rod drive mechanism on top of a EPR reactor and what we call the forest where there are a lot of um, rods in a very tight knit um, environment. The quick connect solves the problem of how to engage a brace onto the studs. It clamping motions made it possible. In addition, there are some neat solutions with automatic nut turn down and piston return, all operated from a safe distance. The end result is that the client has a much improved maintenance program, which is reliable and has reduced costs dramatically when compared to the conventional methods of welding the rods to the top of the reactor. The second example is a place closure or closure head uh, stud tensioner. 
Again, this is quick uh, connect tensioning solution standing over one meter tall. The quick connect removed manual tightening um, historically used by a manual operator with a bar. Through this process, we consulted with the client around the functionality of the tool in which the client saw the benefit of, in of increasing the specification, which included monitoring and recording, resulting in confidence of on the tightening and making sure that it's been achieved. The tightening process must not be the defining factor of um, uh, sign off for this application. The next one is um, manway covers for steam generators. Martin showed some of this before. So not only did we supply the tensioning rings for the four covers of the steam generator, where operator exposure and the layout was a key factor in the design. We provided a full turnkey which included um, which was shown by Martin earlier in the presentation for handling the covers. The final example is the stud tightening um, of a uh, primary pump, primary pump application. It's another example where space was a design consideration. And in addition, the need for homogeneous tightening without creating pollution was a prerequisite from the to design a parallel hydraulic network with a leakage network, which operated with orifices designed to collect any weed pitch. We were able to offer not turn down uh, capabilities because the space restrictions, uh, restrictions in the application made it not possible to do it manually. So we're coming to the end of the session now. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to open it up to any questions. So I'll just wait a couple of minutes um, and or a few seconds. And if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, put them into the uh, area and we'll, we'll uh, pick up on them now. So we've got one question come in already. Um, it looks like you can offer quite high technologies. Do you also provide support services and training to the customer? So thank you for that question. Uh, yes, we do. We're able to go on site uh, into the nuclear island as well. We have qualified engineers who are able to do that. Uh, we can uh, support also remotely um, uh, from site and we can give uh, training and uh, service support. We're also able to do refurbishment capabilities as well of, of uh, products and inspections. So that, thank you for that question. Uh, another question I have uh, that's come in is, um, and I, I put this one to you, Martin. How can I contact you? Uh, I'm from North America. No, well, you can contact myself, uh, Martin Kerrigan. Um, if you go onto our website, uh, pilgrim-international.co.uk, there is a contact button there. Uh, we'll send you through to sales. And if you mention you're from North America, it will arrive on my desk and I will get back to you very quickly. Okay, so we just wait a little bit further if there's any more questions to be asked. Uh, if you want to ask a question later on, you're more than welcome. As I mentioned before, if you're watching this on uh, the catch up option, uh, you can actually um, enter questions and we will come back to you. So if you if something springs to mind later, please feel free to ask a question. We would be really pleased to hear from you. I'll just leave it a minute or two longer. Okay, Martin. 
Yeah, um, also, um, I don't know if any of you guys are registered for the IWG nuclear event in Tampa next week. If you are, I'll actually be there myself uh, as a vendor. So, of course, anything you think of in between, if you can come to see me, uh, you can ask any questions or anything that we presented today or indeed anything to do with Pilgrim, I'll be very happy to see you there as well. Okay, thank you. So my proposal is to uh, to close the session now. So finally, I would just like to say uh, a big welcome. So we've come to the end of the presentation. And on behalf of Martin, uh, Dominic, and Didier, I would like to thank you very much for your attendance today. I just want to spend the last couple of minutes recapping on what we've covered. So I introduce Pilgrim and who we are. We exist to remove uncertainty for our clients. And in the case, it's uh, by designing and delivering high integrity uh, tightening solutions for critical nuclear applications. Uh, we also do it for non-nuclear applications as well. So if anyone else is interested in uh, any other uh, areas of um, tensioning, we can do that. Dominic touched on the potential nuclear environment issues and the client needs we've experienced and we consider when designing tightening solutions. Martin then went on to highlight the technologies from Pilgrim that have been developed to assist clients successfully overcome these issues. And finally, I was able to provide some real life examples of where we've turned theory into practice. So for those of you that have contributed to the chat area and answering the questions, we would like to thank you. If we haven't been able to address any of the points, we can do separately, as I mentioned earlier. Thank you, and I hope you have a good day or an evening, depending on where you're located. Goodbye.